Chicklets University, we're back for another episode. We're here in Hockey Valley, the beautiful, beautiful Penn State University. We're here with Captain Christian Berger. Christian, give me one word to describe the beautiful facilities here at the Pagula Ice Arena. Elite. Elite. All right. All right, let's check it out. All right, so there's a few things I want to talk about here. The Penn State bucket. It's because you got the stripe down the middle. I think the concept, like the jerseys, the helmet, is like simple. You know, we got We Are, where there's like a lot of history behind, and there's just like a lot of pride and tradition in the school. Um, but, you know, it's similar to the football helmets and stuff. I think it's supposed to be a simple design, like sleek, simple colors. Another thing we have, which is cool, is like we got passion instinct on this wall, work ethic, commitment on that yeah, wall. Yeah, explain that. You know, it's all about the team, and when you're not, like when we're not playing to those standards, you know, coach lets us know it's on the wall. What is this, uh, what is this bracket over here oh, for? No. I gotta know about this bracket. A bunch of us play ping pong. So we are like, let's find out who the best is. And we did a tournament, we seeded it. Who came in as the one seed? Where's the one seed? Xander Lampa. Is this you? Yeah, it's me. So you were in the championship? I was in championship. He was talking a lot of trash, I'm not gonna lie. And okay, but did he get in your head? He didn't get in my head, but the problem is he backed it up. I was like, I'm gonna remember everything you say. When I beat you, it's gonna be great. Cause we like play all the time. And uh, he waxed me today. Who's 99? Does someone wear 99? <laughs> that's our head coach. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, that's what he put him in at. Can you tell me about your head coach? So he's good at ping pong. He's really good at darts. He just like kind of creates this like competitive culture, right? Culture, yeah. First off. How good are you at darts? How good are you at ping pong? Better than burger at both. <laughs> when you're recruiting people, do you look for this competition aspect? Like, are you looking for that competitive drive? Because it seems like every kid in this locker room is just like the most competitive kid we've ever seen. I think they certainly do. So they love to meet the recruits and, and it's important to them. And I think they find out pretty quick which guys are gonna gravitate to being a part of that culture of, you know, compete with everything you do and have a, have a blast at it. So I, I do think there's certain aspect of that with recruiting i think i think the guys find out about it as much as as i do i mean sometimes they'll be brought up and we'll play you know we'll play ping pong or darts with a recruit to see it to see how they they handle it and how they handle the guys watching you don't it. want it's it to fun. be too good though i feel like uh i would love it if they, really oh i would love a recruit come in here and wax burger I would what love if he it. comes in and waxes you though oh then he's cut yeah <laughs> exactly no, won't happen. let's go uh let's go check out the rest of the facilities sounds good They take really good care of us. Like, if you need a new stick, like, they'll get it for you. When we got a couple minutes before we're getting on the ice, we start lining up out here and kind of have fun. Pre-game handshakes all Yeah, like there. yelling at each other, stuff like that. I mean, look at this. Yeah. We're, we're in the tunnel walking out to the arena, and, like, this is incredible. Man, playing games at this arena. It's pretty cool. It's like almost vertical. So it's like, it's designed like the right way to make like a really cool atmosphere. We are Penn State! We are Penn State! We are Penn State! Thank you! You're welcome! All these things, these traditions, and like, it's not really like a, just a one stop and just like come play here and then move on, like you really feel like you're a part of like the family and stuff. And it's just like kind of, it's like a fun thing to be a part of. If you could talk to a 17 year old kid that's thinking about coming to Penn State and they say, Christian, go sell this kid. What are you gonna tell him? When I was like in that situation, my dad was like, this place has the biggest alumni network in the, in the nation. Exactly. So that's like huge for, you know, life after hockey. Like, yeah, you, you go to tailgates and, and you meet people and stuff and, and they love Penn State. So we're talking about tradition, facilities, this training room. Tell me about it here. So obviously we got a lot of tables here. We got Normatex under these things. For us peasants who don't play Division One hockey, what is Normatex? A Normatex, it's like recovery for your legs. So like you put them on each leg, you zip them up. Get me in here. Hold on, you might need to take the shoes off. Get me in here. How much are they helping you from a health perspective, like with diet, like day-to-day -day life? I mean, being in a, co a college kid, like we've 
We've all been there, you know what I mean? It's tough, to, yeah. it's tough to be healthy. Unless you just don't care. It's tough not to be healthy with all the help we get around here. We have like nutritionists, like people, like we have people who are gonna tell us about hydration. We get like talks on that. Um, like hydration packs. That's amazing. You, yeah, you, I mean, they feed us. After your practice, we were just up at like the mezzanine level and you guys were getting free steak dinners. Yeah, I'm a senior now, so I'm like, I really gotta appreciate when I get free steak. Oh yeah. So I, I can't take that for granted. We get treated super well, like nutrition's unbelievable. The, just the knowledge they give you about nutrition and hydration and stuff like that is really great. Cold tub and hot tub. <laughs> oh, that's that's cold. Yeah, that's we cool. have we have a steam room too. This is this is NHL. Sign me up for Penn State. <laughs> how much do you utilize this? Like, how much can you utilize it? Is the thing. Like, yeah, as much as you want. If you're like legitimately injured or like playing injured or like they know about like she has control to say you have to do this. Like, if you're not injured, you can also just come. You say she. Who is she? Carly, Carly. All right, let's go meet Carly. Let's go meet Carly. Let's go meet Carly. So tell me what you do. How'd you get started here with Penn State? I'm the men's hockey athletic trainer, and I started in September, but I've been an athletic trainer for hockey for the past eight years. I'm here pretty much all day, every day. We do a lot of recovery in here. We do a lot of injury prevention in here. We do a lot of rehab in here. Awesome. All right, you want to keep checking out the locker? Sounds good. All right, where are we going next? Uh, we got a dry stall area. The people around here like help us so much. Like you throw your laundry in and it'll get washed while you're like So overnight. will someone come in and come grab that? Come grab no, that. No, so this is this is clean. This okay. is clean from, so after practice, when you get in the shower, you drop it. Okay. And then you come back in the morning, it's just hanging nicely here. That's for you. unreal. One thing I'm noticing is like you guys have someone for everything. Yeah. Like every issue you could potentially have, it seems like there's someone there to answer that question for you guys. Yeah. We really do have everything and um we're grateful for uh, Mr. Pagula as well. He donated a lot of money for the program to start. So uh, if we're talking about the Pagulas, this is like a kind of a cool plaque we have, our pledge to the Pagula family. We'll never take your facility for granted, but work every day to be worth, worthy of it. Wow, that's awesome. They want to give us everything, and the school wants to give us everything we need to become great hockey players and a great team. At the same time, like you, you don't want to get to a point where you take for granted the fact they're treated so well. So that's a big part of our program is making sure, um, you know, we're not taking it for granted. We're, we're appreciating it and we're, and we're using it rather than just expecting it. Speaking of like kind of culture and stuff like that, we have a pretty cool thing here. This is like our hammer. So there's this guy, like his name is Gary. And um, he, he was a student at Penn State and he started coming to the games just when the Pagula first opened up. So he comes to the game and he just buys like a Thor costume and starts bringing him to the games and like the guys notice. That season, basically like he finds out he has to get like multiple surgeries, discs put in his spine. You know, he's kind of inspiration for the team, gives him this hammer. So ever since then, this goes to the guy who like uh, fights the hardest, just like Gary. All right, so let's play for some loser cannonballs into the cold tub. Wow, that sounds miserable, but I'll play. Whoa. All right, I thought it was just getting sandbagged right there. So. You might be. So what, do you want to alternate serves? Uh, is, that, is that how you do it in ping pong? Whoa. Fuck. Oh. We got ourselves this a game insane. here. All right, all right. I really don't want to get them all the cool. Oh, fuck. Oh, wow. Yeah, we got, we got the rapid shot. So basically, like, this machine, like, passes you pucks, and then it lights up a corner, and you, like, pick where you shoot. So it's like, your score is based off like how quickly you shoot and how accurately. Can we try it? All right, so it's gonna be coming out of the left. You can like stand on the platform, might have a little more. Oh, okay. Room. Just a hook here, just an absolute hook. Oh wow, that's Mr. quick. Target. <laughs> oh, there we oh, go. That was close. Nice. There we go.
go. I'm fucking nailing this. Nope. All right, you want to do double or nothing for the cold tub? I don't want to, but I'm going to do it. Okay, so <laughs> three shots, highest score wins. Okay. Okay, I'm terrible at darts. This is like you can just get lucky enough, though. Oh, yeah. Oh. He's going to hit like a triple tr trunny. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, you got, you got 24. We'll take 24. Hot start. Oh. Nice. Oh my God. I mean, that's 320s right yeah. there. <laughs> One thing that's kind of fun we do, this is this is our three on three trophy right here. So we play like three on three tournament once or twice a year. These are the pictures from all the teams that have won. I feel like we got one more thing to see. That's the weight room. Bang. Let's, Let's go it. check it out. Tell me about your athletic trainer and like what she brings to the table. Super positive, like it's 7:45. You need that. You need oh that. my god, you come in at 7:45 in the morning and like she's so jacked up. She's probably already worked out. She's jacked up about the lap. She has a smile on her face. Just kind of one of those people that just makes you happy to be around. She kind of gets creative and tough workouts. Yeah, tough workouts, but you know that's what we come here to to do is kind of develop us hockey players. So she's helping us do that. Like. It's less fun at times. One thing she's done that's really cool is we didn't have this a couple years ago. She put in a smoothie station. Oh. So we got, you know, ingredients here, protein shakes, yogurt, and she'll actually make smoothies during the workout and they're like here to take on your way out. So she's like being like, all right, I, I see Christian over there. He needs to gain a couple pounds. I'm adding, I'm doing this smoothie and she's like, here, this one's for you. No, but she knows what guys like. like she yeah. knows the smoothies I like the most. Yeah. So she like that's takes- so, That's unreal, man. It, it, she's unbelievable. And if you're lucky enough to get on the weight gain train, you get those. <laughs> I could use a few of those. <laughs> all right, where are we going next? All right, uh, we actually have another equipment room to show you. Okay. So what is, uh, what's this thing right here? So this is our laser engraver that we just got a couple months ago. This machine doesn't just do steel, we got you some oh, wow. posters too as a gift from Penn State Hockey. We appreciate you guys. Oh wow, look at these. Our friends at Blade Tech Hockey wanted to give you guys a custom Penn State blade. It's an all black Penn State with the custom logo from our friends at Blade Tech Hockey. Play faster, play longer, flex force advantage, blade tech hockey. That's awesome. Right, not bad, right? Wow, the the black. Good, yeah. Well, you've seen behind the scenes, but uh, you gotta check out the concourse. It's pretty cool. Let's go check it out. All right, so the grand entrance right here. This is, uh, yeah. this is pretty this cool. Is, this is a cool view of the rink here. Okay. Let's see how it's going. <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh. Wow. Private suites, Jumbotron. How's the ice? I think the ice is really good. The, the guys, like the rink guys are phenomenal. They're so on top of it. Um, you know, and just all the extra ice like we can get as like players to develop, it's, I mean, these guys are here all the time and um, taking stuff, even in the summer, it's really good. That wraps it up here at Penn State. Beautiful Hockey Valley. Shout out to Christian Berger. Shout out to the entire Penn State hockey team. Big game against Michigan State tomorrow, but that about wraps it up here, right? Sounds good, except for the cold tub and we're all good. Uh, a bet's a bet. As you guys know, man of my word, lost my bet to Christian Berger, so in the cold tub we go. Oh my god, it's cold. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Oh.